Salutations. <laughs> Hope this finds you in good health. You know, I wanted to, this is one of those videos that is definitely a fast blast. Sorry it's short, but it's designed to have you do your own research. And it's cool because it takes us into what science is really discovering now and finding with modern technology versus things that are myth and legend, all right? And this concerns the Great Flood, quote unquote, the Noah's Flood. And if you look at almost every culture and civilization has had a story about a gigantic flood here on Earth, all right? Now, when taking this, and the question was always, oh, where's the crater at? Where's the hole at? for such a flood to have happened like this, if it was this meteor impact and stuff, how has that uh, not been found? And so it's been dismissed to some degree, all right? But now, what they have found, and what's been proven, it seems like about two years ago they actually discovered this, is that there are three large impacts that happened 9,800 years ago. Okay, 9,800 years ago, you had three objects that came and impacted with Earth these meteors, all right, that was one that one impact was over or in the um, during the ice sheets that existed then the Greenland Greenland uh, Greenland um, uh, ice shelf and uh, what's called the Hiawatha ice shelf. And what happened is this if this meteor came in, they found this hole. Okay, you can look this up for yourself. This meteor came in and smashed in. This meteor was between 1.6 miles and two miles wide and it slammed into the end of the earth and it created um, a hole that was two miles deep and also 15 miles wide. And remember when this thing comes in, it's gonna come in at a temperature of about 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, like 1,800 degrees Celsius. And when it impacts, okay, it sent up all these chunks of ice, these huge chunks of ice, melting, melting ice into the atmosphere that started causing a calamity, all right? Now, Along with that, you have two other objects that came. So the first, like overnight, you have the sea level increase by about 60 feet. Then during a very short period, you have another object that came and hit at Lake Ontario. And that's been called um, the Chariot uh, Soho Crater, if I'm saying that right. Sorry, but I've got pictures of it up. And what that is, is another very large meteor that, er, uh, it's a meteor that crashed into that ice there. There was an ice shelf over there at that time. I want to set these things hurling too. Then the third one would be off, oh Lord, the pronunciation, Saginaw Bay, which is a part of uh, Lake Huron. There's a very big crater there too. And that one is very big and it shows actually how that one sent these chunks of ice up into the sky and then they, they landed. They've even got the trajectory for it now at a place like in the Carolinas, North Carolina and South Carolina, they've got these uh, things called the Carolina Bays. And if you look at those, they call them that because of the bay leaves that grow in there, but it's, uh, it's actually, they're not meteor strikes. Those are from these large, huge pieces of ice, ice that came down. So basically, when these things happen, okay, you would have just got pummeled by these pieces of ice. You've got another one in Nebraska, a place in Nebraska, it's called the, uh, I'll make sure I get this right, um, the Nebraska Rainwater Basin. Look at that too, that's another one of these places that's been made by these huge pieces of ice that came down. So basically, if you were at that point then, when this happened, and if these things hit, if you were somebody that could, now you were a large being or uh, did not have capability, a large organism did not have capability to get to underground, you were gonna get just pummeled and have that total catastrophe. So within the first month, you would have actually, they say that it, the sea level went up by 300 feet, 60 feet the first night, and then within the first month, uh, it, would have went, it would have been, or first week, it would have been um, 300 feet, or month, 300 feet. That's intense. That's this whole flood thing that people have been talking about for a very long time. And I find it fascinating that now the science is actually isolated where that is and how that happened and what time frame, too. That's just amazing. Um, Something else, a gentleman that I first heard, heard talking about this was a gentleman named Randall Carlson. And Randall, I heard him on, he was on like, was a couple of years ago, he was on uh, Joe Rogan. And he's talking to him, Joe Rogan's an interesting cat. He, whatever you make of that, he might not believe in all the cryptids, but he's an interesting dude. And he has good discussions on there. 
uh, Carlson is one of the people you had on there. And so he's been talking about this for years now. And now you're starting to see science that backs up what he was saying. And what's even more interesting about Randall Carlson is that he places this meteor shower, these, these three pieces of, these three meteors that came in here at that time are part of the um, Taurid me meteor swarm, which actually has origination in Pleiades and goes through Pleiades. I put, I put that on the pictures, so look up Taurid meteor swarm and you'll see actually how it has an orbit that goes from Pleiades through our solar system. And there was even talk like when it comes to that, so many years, more debris will come from that and possibly hit us again. So anyway, it's just interesting, but he did really good work on that. And I've heard Graham Hancock talking about this a little bit too. But right now there's scientific discoveries that back that up. And it's called the Younger Dryas Hypothesis. The Younger, the younger Dryas Impact Hypothesis. And I don't know how I don't say this wrong, but I believe the Dryas has something to do with those flowers that they found in, in the Antarctica or somewhere similar to that that gives you a show of the, when they will go through the, the shocking cycle or something like that. So it's got something to do with that. Anyway, that's what it's called. And so I just urge everybody to really look this one up and check this out. Um, this comet, this, this um, Taurid uh, meteor, meteor swarm, is supposed to be created by a comet or comets that are broken up that are making that right there. So these are big pieces of comets, asteroids coming in on us, I guess. So anyway, um, I want everybody to please look that up. I appreciate you. Please push a, a like on this to make sure I went over everything. That's the major things you need to know right now is looking those up. So please subscribe. Please hit the like button. I want to give a thanks out to my people in on uh, Patreon. Uh, that's the whole reason these videos are still being made. It's not easy to get them made anymore. So thank you very much. Also, um, I'll be speaking at an event November 10th, 11th, and 12th in Las Vegas at the Lexor called Stairway to the Stars. And uh, still a couple months away, so a chance to get out there, come check it out. I think it'll be fun, a great place to meet people and just kind of chop it up with like him minds. So please subscribe, press the like button, share this video. Peace.